some individual ocean basins. It is very likely that there is a substantial anthropogenic contribution to the global mean sea level rise since the 1970s. This is based on the high confidence in an anthropogenic influence on the two largest contributions to sea level rise, thermal expansion and glacier mass loss. Ocean, oceanic uptake of anthropogenic CO2 has resulted in gradual acidification of ocean surface waters, high confidence. 1.3.2 observed impacts attributed to climate change. In recent decades, changes in climate have caused impacts on natural and human systems on all continents and across the oceans. Impacts are due to observed climate change, irrespective of its cause, indicating the sensitivity. Changing precipitation or melting snow and ice are altering hydrological systems, affecting water resources in terms of quantity and quality, medium confidence. Glaciers continue to shrink almost worldwide due to climate change, high confidence, affecting runoff and water resources downstream, medium confidence. Climate change is causing permafrost warming and thawing in high latitude regions and high elevation regions, high confidence. Many terrestrial, freshwater, and marine species have shifted their geographic ranges, seasonal activities, migration patterns, abundances, and species interactions in response to ongoing climate change. High confidence. While only a few recent species extinctions have been attributed as yet to climate change, high confidence, natural global climate change at rates slower than current anthropogenic climate change caused significant ecosystem shifts and species extinctions during the past millions of years, high confidence. Increased tree mortality observed in many places worldwide has been attributed to climate change in some regions. Increases in the frequency or intensity of ecosystem disturbances such as droughts, windstorms, fires, and pest outbreaks have been detected in many parts of the world and in some cases are attributed to climate change. Medium confidence. Numerous observations over the last decades in all ocean basins show changes in abundance, distribution shifts poleward and or to deeper, cooler waters for marine fishes, invertebrates, and phytoplankton very high confidence, and altered ecosystem composition, high confidence, tracking climate trends. Some warm water corals and their reefs have responded to warming with species replacement, bleaching, and decreased coral cover causing habitat loss, high confidence. Some impacts of ocean acidification on marine organisms have been attributed to human influence from the thinning of the pteropod, foraminiferin shells, medium confidence, to the declining growth rates of corals, low. Confidence. Oxygen minimum zones are progressively expanding in the tropical Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans due to reduced ventilation and O2 solubility in warmer, more stratified oceans and a constraining fish habitat, medium confidence. Assessment of many studies covering a wide range of regions and crops shows that negative impacts of climate change on crop yields have been more common than positive impacts, high confidence. A smaller number of studies showing positive impacts relate mainly to high latitude regions, though it is not yet clear whether the balance of impacts have been negative or positive in these regions. High confidence. Climate change has negatively affected wheat and maize yields for many regions in the global aggregate medium. Effects on rice and soybean yields have been smaller in major production regions and globally, with a medium change to zero across all available data, which are fewer to soy compared to the other crops. See figure 1.1 on the team. A third impact for like mainly to production aspects of food security rather than access or other components of food security. 
since AR4, several, several periods of rapid, rapid food and cereal price, price increases following, following climate extremes in key, in key producing regions indicate a sensitivity of current markets to climate extremes, among, among other factors, medium confidence. At present, the worldwide burden of human ill health from climate change is relatively small compared with effects from other stresses and is not well quantified. However, there has been increased heat-related mortality and decreased cold-related mortality in some regions as a result of warming, medium confidence. Local, Local changes in temperature and rainfall have altered the distribution of some waterborne diseases and disasters, medium confidence. Cascading impacts of climate change can now, can now be attributed along chains of evidence from physical climate through to intermediate systems and then to people.